Monsoons had started and now the rain wasn't stopping. Gattu, Chinky and Mummy were watching the rain from their balcony. Mummy, it looks so beautiful when it is raining. I want to play and have fun in this rain. You stole my words, Gattu. I was also thinking the same. I want to play in the rain too and have a lot of fun. No kids, the weather is changing. And if you play in this rain and get wet, then you might get cold and cough and feverish too. Many people are getting sick with cold nowadays. Now you can also buy our favorite toys from www.pontoonkids.com. Link is in the description. Mummy, please, please, we will play only for 10 minutes. Please. Yes, Mummy. We will play only for 10 minutes and then come back. We won't catch cold just by getting wet for a few minutes. Gattu Chinki, even getting wet for one minute is enough to catch a cold. Listen to me. Don't be stubborn. Mummy tried to make Gattu Chinki understand the reason, but they were not listening. They somehow convinced their mother and went to play in the rain. Chinki, I am feeling a little bit cold now. Me too, Gattu. I am also feeling a bit cold now. Oh dear, do you think we have caught a cold? Please, don't say that, Gattu. Mummy will scold us a lot. What should we do now? Mummy will definitely find out that we have caught cough and cold. Both of them were whispering to each other when Mummy came over there. What happened, Gattu Chinki? Why are you guys whispering? Oh, oh. Uh, nothing, Mummy. It's nothing. Due to cough and cold, Gattu's throat was sore and his voice sounded croaked. As soon as he spoke to Mummy, she understood that he had caught cold. See, I told you not to play in the rain, didn't I? And now you have caught the cold. What are you guys going to do now? Sorry, Mummy. We made a really big mistake. Yes, Mummy. We should have listened to you. Due to our stubbornness, we have fallen sick. Yes, Kattu. We will not be able to attend school tomorrow. And tomorrow we have an important maths lecture. We will miss it. We are going to lose our precious time for the sake of a few minutes of fun. Come on, dear. Don't stress yourself too much. I will help you. I know that you have made a mistake. But now, you have to promise me to always listen to me. Then I will tell you a cure to this cough and cold. Promise, Promise Mummy. Mummy, now please tell us quickly, what should we do to fight this cold and get better? Yes, Mummy, please tell us quickly. I am very stressed due to this. Kids, I will prepare a special decoction for you. After drinking it, you will start feeling a lot better by the morning itself. Really, Mummy? Is there a special decoction for cold? Yes, Chinky. Mummy can make anything possible. Gattu and Chinky felt relieved after hearing Mummy's words. Alright, Mummy. What are we waiting for? Please prepare your special decoction for us. And again, sorry, Mummy. We will never insist on playing in the rain. It's alright, Gattu, Chinky. I'm happy that you realized your mistake. Now, please wait for 10 minutes. I will go and prepare special decoction for you both. Saying this, Mummy went into the kitchen and started preparing her special decoction. After a few minutes, the aroma of decoction started coming. Then Mummy gave that decoction to Gattu and Chinky. See kids, this decoction is a bit bitter but it will cure your cold and cough very soon. Gattu and Chinky were a little scared at first. But then, they gathered some courage and drank the decoction. Uh. This doesn't taste good at all, Mummy. Ugh. But I finished everything because I want to cure my cold and get well. Yes, Mummy. I also finished my potion completely. Very good, dear. Now you will be perfectly healthy by tomorrow morning. You don't have to worry at all. Now go to sleep. Even though Mummy assured them that they would be fine, Gattu and Chinky were still stressed that they might miss the school. They were chatting till late in the night. Chinky, what do you think? Will we get better by tomorrow morning? I don't know, Gattu, but I trust Mummy's word. 
If she had said that we would be fit and fine after drinking her special decoction, then we would get better. Okay, Chinky, let's wait and see the magic of Mummy's decoction. Then they went to sleep. In the morning, Mummy woke them up. Gatu Chinky, wake up. Come here. Let me see how you're feeling now. Mummy checked them one by one and then sighed in relief. How both of you are feeling now? Mummy, I'm feeling very much better than last night. I also feel that my health is perfectly fine now. Now we can go to school without any problem. Wow, Mummy, your magical decoction really worked. Our cold and cough were cured in just one night. <laughs> yes, dear. Mummy is an expert magician when it comes to her kids. Now go and get ready for your school quickly. Now you can attend your important maths class. Okay. Okay, mummy. If you are liking our videos, then like them, comment them, and subscribe.